Well, welcome back everyone to Kitchen Table TCG. We have two more Monarch First Edition booster boxes. Uh, this video is going to be for Patrick Sun, Patrick S. I don't think I'm supposed to say last names. Anyway, uh, before I get there, I just want to show you all the things we're going to give away tonight on our 2,500 subscriber stream. We're going to give away all the packs from all three of these booster boxes. We're going to crack them open for you, the viewers, those of you who support the channel by watching the content, hitting the like button, subscribing, blah, blah, blah. I really appreciate you and I want to celebrate you. Uh, and you mean a lot to me. So uh, we've got all three of these boxes. Uh, I think George from Compete Sports is going to be on stream with me. I think he said he'd give away a Monarch Unlimited box. Uh, I think we're going to do, I got a custom, uh, a, a really special kitchen table TCG play mat that's like zoomed in on one of the characters and it's one of one. Uh, but then the big, huge deal. Uh, thank you to Dan, a patron of mine, uh, for hooking me up with a box of Arcing Rising. No unlimited version uh, that we'll be opening. And he has graciously allowed me um, to give away four packs from this box. So uh, we'll be giving away a lot of stuff on stream tonight. Thank you to uh, Tracy Reeve uh, for uh, sending me this uh, box of Arcane Rising uh, to open for you guys. Uh, just so blessed by the community and uh, can't wait to celebrate with you. So there's a link in the um, comment section of this video uh, that you can follow. If you want to sign up and be a part of that, other than that, we'll be at 8.30 p.m. Uh, come hang out with us live and uh, just have a good time. All right, uh, Patrick S, dude, are you ready? You've been waiting a long time and now you've had to wait a minute and a half uh, for your box to be ripped open uh, for you. Monarch First Edition, so uh, one more of these after today. And then uh, I think I'll be done opening Monarch in, other than on, uh, I think we'll do some case breaks still uh, as the prices are still around. We'll probably switch over to Unlimited for a while. Um, let people get cards to play with, see how the market shakes it all up, and then uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, all right, let's go, Patrick. Let's see what we can get you. Let's go library. I'm feeling like one of these last boxes should have a library in it. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, Herald of Rebirth. Uh, so the um, the big news coming out of Auckland for, uh, for um, the calling is that uh, Kasu won... Uh-oh, cold foil. Ebon fold, boom. All right, I like that card. And a guardian of the shadow realm. Uh, Kasu won the uh, the classic constructed. Uh, where's my sleeves? I got sleeves around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, if you guys could tell how unorganized I am this week because of this whole life stuff, uh, we'll set it there. I'll find sleeves, I've got them. I'll sleeve up before I send them out. Um, Kasu is uh, has won the classic constructed uh, calling event, um, which I thought was super interesting. Um, so I've asked uh, the the winner of that event if he wants to be on the stream and uh, do some do some interview and, and learn about Kasu. I, I actually have a classic constructed Kasu deck um, that's old. I haven't touched it since like the first week of me starting to play Flesh and Blood. I don't even remember what's in it, honestly. Um, and, uh, I would love to get into the classic constructed. I think I'm going to start, um, thinking through that. Maybe, maybe doing one of the armor events in our kitchen table TCG server as a classic constructed, or maybe do some sort of, um, tournament type thing. I don't know. Maybe, uh, some sort of like, uh, league where you play one or two games. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but I would love to start playing some classic constructed. It seems like, oh man, the artwork for this card is so cool. That's going to be, that's. That's one of the play mats I'd probably want to pick up. Uh, yeah, so really cool to see that. Other than that, um, you know, uh, I think there were some good, some good, oh, oh, foil. Okay, foil non-extended Mark of the Beast is still a really good hit. Oh, and Arouse the Ancients. This is kind of a spicy box. Uh, that's still a really good hit. Uh, I'm feeling like I should have sleeves here. I'm just going to leave the cards without touching each other. So I'll, I'll sleeve them up after the video. I want to bore you all looking for sleeves. Um, man, uh, that card is hard to pull in the, in the rainbow foil. Uh, I mean, it's harder to pull in the extended, obviously, but uh, it's still hard to pull in the rainbow foil. I don't think I pulled any of them in my, um, in my box openings. 40 bucks. I don't think I pulled any Mark of the Beast in non foil or foil non extended. Oh, all these types. Can you imagine if this is Magic the Gathering? It would have like 18 other different types too. Um, 
so yeah i watched a lot of the calling yesterday it was really cool uh see james white smiling and having a good time um that that was important uh, i think it's i think it's really good even when you know there's a lot of uncertainty right now in the market but like there's no uncertainty in the game um you know when i when a hero from uh from three sets ago now let's see monarch that'd be one crucible so it's four sets ago when a hero from four sets ago uh wins a classic constructed event uh that means that the game's balanced and that monarch did not break anything now that's not to say that monarch wasn't right the prism was highly right uh prism was highly ooh, smash with big trees smash 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 highly uh represented smash with big trees smash 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 uh prism prism was represented and um and that's important too uh bolting blade majestic uh but most importantly uh it seems like the old heroes still are viable and um and that's awesome even without the talents even smash with big trees smash smash, smash. even talentless heroes even without talents you can be a hero everyone just remember that even if you don't have talents you okay back, okay even without talents you can find yourself being a hero that's the if there's anything i've learned from flesh and blood it's that even without talents you can be a hero so uh all right uh patrick i'm feeling like this box is not the best one yet that being said it's not the worst one you got yourself a foil mark of the beast which is on the more expensive end for the rainbow foil majestics Let's see if we can get you one more cold foil or one more rainbow foil majestic that will put you at like an average i think that been folds good that's a i mean that's a pretty good smash with big tree smash 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 that's a pretty good um that's a pretty good card honestly uh pop through uh after these monarch openings so after tomorrow's opening we should be back to having some uh some more normal box openings and uh herald of triumph boom i actually put up some wtr box i think we'll do a week of wtr box openings if you go to cavs ooh shadow plasma fat if you go to cavdanesmarket.com um i've got those up there if you're a patron you get five dollars off of those um so we'll, we'll do a week of uh of unlimited wtr and then we'll we'll hop into um into unlimited monarch i uh i did not get my unlimited monarch in time for next week's video so uh yeah other than that monarch seems to have been a, a pretty big um it, it seems like it's this weird thing where like we still don't know fully oh my gosh this card is beautiful we still don't know fully how the playability is oh and a hexagore in the close how the playability is going to affect things um i think part of the problem is people don't know fully oh a little brighter that's, that's a little nicer um how to react to some of the cards and how it's going to affect uh the meta and stuff but i think as we see these kind of high level uh play events we'll start seeing that um shape up a little bit better um shape up a little more clearly so uh, I'm, I'm excited to see more and more of that um you know i i had my frustrations with monarch in terms of the collation uh and I, i've expressed those highly enough i mean you just saw two more consuming aftermaths whatever i'm sure here in a couple packs we'll get another duplication I, i've expressed my frustration with that we'll see if monarch unlimited is any better i've heard that it's not um we'll we'll, we'll continue to talk about that but i don't want to smash with big trees smash 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 i don't want to down play like how good the set is um and so it, i'm kind of done with that anyway uh patrick thank you so much for the support uh we got two packs left let's see if we can get you something better in the close here uh five majestic though i'm feeling like this might be it i'm feeling like this is gonna be it patrick i think you're gonna have yourself a below below average not so good box but not not a, not a terrible box either rip through reality seek enlightenment oh oh patrick i was hoping it was better man hey thank you so much for the support you got yourself five majestics you know honestly your majestics were pretty weak too uh, your majestics were on the weaker end 
Uh, Mark of the Beast is a is a higher end rainbow foil majestic just because it's one of those ones that's the extended art. Uh, and then Ebb and Fold, I don't want to, I'll pick it up again. Uh, Ebb and Fold, uh, that's, I mean, I'm, if you're going to get a cold foil common, uh, I mean, that works for a cold foil common. That's pretty, pretty top of the line cold foil common. Uh, that being said, everyone else, don't forget to hit the uh, hit the button down below in order to sign up for tonight's event, tonight's uh, stream. Uh, we'll be giving away all those packs, all those boxes. We'll be having a great time. If we hit 3,000 subscribers, uh, we'll add some more. If we hit 3,000 before then, we'll celebrate both at the same time. And uh, those of you guys um, who are patrons, thank you so much for the support, and I appreciate you. The rest of you guys, remember to be kind to the people around you, and we'll see you in a little bit for another video.